it's one thing about the dolly that like, one must understand she's very introverted like she's not really talking to people too much like she like her own space i've been trying not to really drink as much because in my old age now the liquor get to me quickly <laughs> Today's Dolly's birthday, the actual birthday birthday. Um, I'm currently at Sovereign North. I so let me just inform you guys. Every birthday since I could drive, I've done a solo date. Me and solo dates go together real bad, like real, real bad. So I said today I'm gonna come to to Cannonball at Sovereign North, get some breakfast, and then go to Encore. That's at um, Super Valley in like Barbican. As I had mentioned, every birthday from I could drive, like I do a solo date. If it's one thing about the dolly, that like, one must understand, she's very introverted. Like, she's not really talking to people too much. Like, she likes her own space. If it's one thing I'm gonna learn from these vlogs, it would be that. Like, that's just how I am. Maybe it's because I was an only child for so long. Only children. I mean, I'm no longer an only child, but I was an only child for a very long time. Like, like 10 years or over 10 years. And. Um, I feel like only children they turn out either one of two ways either one they crave to be in other people's company or two they're completely fine being alone and I'm the latter like I'm completely fine being alone like <laughs> if I want to go somewhere I'm okay going alone like if I need to do anything I'm okay going alone like I'm just so comfortable with myself and my company maybe sometimes too comfortable but yeah so we're gonna head into canon ball cafe now i've never been inside there my first time but i said okay i want to try it for the birthday so let's go check hold on hope you guys can see me so my shirt is so low hold on and you can't see me can kind of see me so my shirt is from forever 21 i think my pants is fashion nova belty sheen handbag mk mk shoes also mk let me show you my shoes i love these these slippers so much oh, let me show you like love but i'm not going inside now I always walk past it. It's actually very, very cute. Um, I got the fluffy pancake and um, bacon. And I got the latte with vanilla and I also got a smoothie. And it came up to 2 5 and I think that's not bad. Like, that's, I think that's it's reasonable. Like, very, very reasonable <laughs> for a nice breakfast and whatever. On so that's a large latte now. But I did not know that it was this big. It's actually large. Normally when I have latte at cafe, they're not this big, but it's easy. Bang for your book. It's actually really big. But I'm not complaining though, like I'm very happy about that. Like so big on my latte. It's actually really big. So 
so I just came in the car from Cannonball. Okay, so thoughts on the food and stuff. So, I mean, you really can't get pancakes wrong. The pancakes were good. Um, the latte, though, I don't know. I find that where I've had my best lattes have been Cafe Blue and Press Shop Co. Everywhere else, I don't know. I like, I added vanilla to the latte and it still wasn't sweet. Like, it was very, 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 very bitter. So, I had to actually add sugar to it. Um, so I, never, I, wasn't really, I wasn't really a huge fan of the latte, but the sizing though was beautiful. I love how big it was. But after I did the sugar, like it was it was drinkable. But I didn't really taste the vanilla taste though in it. Um, so that was the latte and the pancakes. The bacon, again, it can't really mess up bacon, TBH, unless it burned it and it wasn't burnt. Um, the strawberry smoothie that I got, let me tell you, I feel like a lot of persons might not like it, however I did. I don't like when my things are too sweet. On a scale of 1 to 10, it was maybe like a, a 2 on the sweetness. So it wasn't sweet at all, which I personally love because I eat when the stuff them too sweet. I don't know if for all age, I don't know if for the 25, I don't know. But all of a sudden things too sweet it have too much sugar all of a sudden things have too much salt so again we don't have old age but yeah i would go back to cannonball though the customer service was good really good we don't know if i can uptown but well actually no it's not because i've been to some of some places and customer service is not good so yeah it was genuinely good customer service their people were very pleasant um yeah We're going to start for this and watch me fix up my makeup. So right about now, I'm going to go to Uncorked. I realized that I have been to Uncorked already. I thought I'd never been there. <laughs> I guess that's how... What's the word? Non-memorable? Non right, English, English isn't my strong suit. But it wasn't memorable at all the first time. But I came here with like a large group of people. And we came late and we came to the encore that was at that was at Sovereign North. And I don't know, maybe it was what I got. But Encore is normally a place that people love. So I wanna try it again and see how I feel about it. Maybe I just had a bad experience that day, maybe they were off. But I did have in my mind today to go to Encore because I saw because I I went in there one day to pick up something and I was like, wow, this place is nice. So, yeah. Also, I got this for Christmas. This, um, the, the Pacaraban fame perfume I'm wearing it today. I tell myself I was going to stay with until my birthday for the first year. So I'm wearing it today. I love how it smells. It kind of have a little, how do I describe the notes of this? Um, it smells kind of close to Lady Million by Pacaraban. But I, but I smell a little citrusy note in it too. Man, I'm perfect perfume kind of sour, but it smells good. That's enough to know. It smells good. So I am wearing this today. I think the bottle is just beautiful. It's so cute. Like a little man. So, yeah. But I'm going to head out now and go to Uncorked up by Super Value. And I'm going to hope I have a good experience. I don't know, being 25 now, let's talk about it. <laughs> I don't know people, as I say, this is my last age. I will not be turning any older. As of now, I'm 20 years from now, I'm 25. Um, I am enjoying my birthday so far. I, a part of me feels like because I'm 25 now, I have to, I have to make some big changes in my life. Like, I feel like I have to now get my act together and try and do more. I don't know if that's how you guys felt about 25, but that's how I feel. I feel like, okay, girl, it's time for you to, you know, try secure like a future. Try, you know, get the get the body ready, get the mind ready, get the everything ready for picnic. Like, I feel like it's the time now. I don't know. Shut up, 
and all of that kind of feels very overwhelming but it just is what it is now is the time like I actually can't I can't believe that I'm 25 I remember just celebrating my 18th birthday like this age seems surreal it's weird now having to say that okay well I'm 25 years old like I like I'm a bigger man now like I don't know, look up at the thing no more, guys. It's like, I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> well, I went from happy to overwhelmed real quick. But, I don't know. Like, I'm 25 years old, bro. And I'm so grateful to God because enough people, I know people, even people in my class who would never make it to 25. And I'm very grateful, very, very grateful, very grateful. <sighs> but yeah, rain is not tearing. It's not tearing, but rain is drizzling. So I'm gonna try and head out to super, to super Value now and hope that I can get inside before the rain is any worse. I also hope that I get good parking, like right beside the restaurant, so I'm not like getting too wet. But yeah. Like, I need to learn the name of places because it's actually uncorked too and not uncorked. Um, so yeah, I'm at uncorked too now, and I got relatively good parking that's close to the place, so I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna head inside. Hopefully, it's empty. I don't mean, know, it's middle day, like, people should be at work. So let's hope it's empty. <laughs> I'm not on to now. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I hope you guys can. But I am in love with how inside it looks. I'm very happy to have Like, how's that Lighting. Yeah, it's very moody inside here and I love that. Um, and I'm like by uh, like a ton of white bus loads. So that's nice. Um, I ordered the some salmon to the crunchy salmon cookies. I ordered that and I also ordered the yardy shrimp. She said that that was good, so I ordered that as well. Um, so we think for that to come now. And I, got, and I got some coconut water. I, I've been trying not to really drink as much because in my old age now, the liquor get to me quickly. So I got some coconut water here. I might have a glass of wine, I'm not too, I'm not too sure as it. sweetest thing just happened oh my god so i was at uncorked and let me tell you god is good you know and it's just so funny how life works sometimes because i was at sovereign north and i was saying oh there's an uncorked here maybe i should go to this one instead of going to the one at super value because initially i had planned to come to the one at super value i'm gonna say you know what barbican not far so let me just come up here so um i got to uncourt too right 
and I see somebody walking what, but I was here wondering is it somebody who I know because she looks so familiar I was like do I know this person because you know when it's, when it's somebody but you don't know if I them or if I somebody who favor them like I wasn't sure enough to go up to the person and say hello so Mr. Dong Sidong Sidong, then Mr. Son, then Mr. She look upon me and me look at she. And I said, and then I see her walking over and I'm like, Kemba. I said, that, that's my, and she's my father's friend. They, they exercise together. And and I used to walk the hill with them in Palmer sometimes. So I know her, but it's a long time I didn't realize that that was actually her. Then she comes to me and she's like, oh, she carries out her client for his birthday. And I'm like, oh you know it's my birthday too and she was like oh my gosh let me pay for your meal remember that guys this 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 solo date is of course gonna be funded by me because i'm me and carrying myself on solo dates but the fact that she literally offered to pay she, she don't know what the total is she don't know nothing she just said oh my gosh don't let me pay for it and she was she was gonna come and sit with me but I had to leave because I don't want to stay in town too late and if I stay with them I can literally sit down until maybe 2-3 o'clock and I'm sorry but I'm not doing that but that was a sweet Kemba you, you may not say this but I appreciate you that was so sweet again thank you thank you thank you thank you like that was so thoughtful so so thoughtful so yeah but i'm gonna head home now it's 1 14 and i really wanted to get home before it was too late not that i have anything to do at home but i really want to just lay down in my bed and relax for the rest of the day um in order to how the food was at uncorked i knew i loved the croquet the croquet i don't know if i said it pronounced but i knew that i loved that from when i went to uncorked at sovereign north that was good it's 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 a salmon croquet so it's like a hard ball that's like crispy it's not hard but it's a crispy ball that have like salmon on the inside and it's pretty spicy which i love i love that food so that was good for my main meal now i had this uh, um shrimp i don't know the actual name of it but it's a shrimp um it's like it was shrimp and mashed potato and callaloo. It wasn't bad. I don't know. Every time when I come to Uncorked and I try to have like a main dish, I don't I don't really thoroughly enjoy it. Main dishes at Uncorked, I'm not really blown away by them. Maybe I'm just not trying the right thing. That's a possibility. Maybe it's just what I get, you know, is not really the best thing there to get. But the waitress did recommend um the meal that I got though. So I don't know. But I like things with a, with a lot of flavor and it wasn't very flavorful. I like when things are savory, you know? Like the croquette, croquette whatever, was savory. Like it was so good. Um, but yeah, so that's the end of this vloggy vlog vlog. Um, I had a really good day today so far and I'm sure today will, will get even better. Yeah, as a matter of fact, for me every day is my birthday, you know. Like the way all me live life right about now, every day is my birthday. So you know, but I'm just feeling so so blessed and so so happy. Um I can't wait to see what 25 has in store for me. I feel very good about 2024. I don't know why I feel so good about it, but I feel very good about this year and I know that there are good things in store for me and that God has good things in store for my life and I just feel very happy and grateful right now. But yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for spending my birthday with me. You don't know, so I couldn't spend it without you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video or vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Oh, side note. Plug, kind of. So I have this, um, you know, you know, you know, been seeing this in my hand. It's my, what do you call this, tripod for my camera. But it also doubles as, as a tripod for my phone. So I can screw something on this. And, like, I can put my phone in there. It's like a phone holder. Love how versatile this is. TBH, love. But, yeah. So that's it. Bye guys, I love you guys and have a good day.